Hello, beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to Energy and Light Awakening. It's been a while since I've talked about a helpful technique or practice that I like to use. So today we're going to be discussing power posing, also known as posturing, but it's more commonly known as power posing. This is something that I love to do. I find it to be a lot of fun. The, the interesting thing about it is if you look into the research, there's one study that says that it works and it tells the benefits, why, how it works. And there's another one that basically dismisses all of it and says that it doesn't work at all. But in my personal opinion, I think it has a lot to do with the person who's using it. So basically, you pick a pose that you like that makes you feel powerful. It could be anything like standing arm bow like this, or your hands up in the air with like open hands or fists. Just whatever makes you feel powerful, head up, shoulders back. And you stand that way for five minutes and it's supposed to boost your confidence and your overall mood. And some of the people that I hear use it are people like public speakers or some people use it for work or if they're about to have a big meeting or give a pitch. But there's no limit. Anyone can use it. I like using it in the morning to start my day. And... It works for me, so like I said, I love it. I think it's fun, so try it and let me know what you think. With our invocation today, I'm going to be using this divine blessing incense that I bought just for you. It smells a lot like sweet honeysuckle and is delicious. Welcoming the presence of all that is, Reiki masters, ascended masters, spirit and animal guides, angelic realm support, and benevolent beings of the highest truth and compassion. We invite and welcome the energy and influence that serves our most empowered and aligned selves. And so it is. So getting into our crystals and stones, I'm really excited to be sharing three more slabs with you. I was really surprised and didn't realize how much you guys were going to enjoy the slabs that I used in my last Reiki video, so I was really excited about that. So I have a few more to share with you again. And the first one we're using is this Mexican Crazy Lace Agate. Crazy Lace Agate is commonly referred to as the laughter stone or happy. It's a balancing and protective stone. It's believed to ward off the evil eye. It brings joy. It's good at absorbing emotional pain. So great if you're recovering from exhaustion or fatigue. It helps with emotional stability. It harmonizes, harmonizes the yin and yang energies. Builds inner and physical strength. And it balances the emotional intellect as well. Next, I have an Australian dendrite opal. 
history on this is quite fascinating. The spiritual meaning is tied to magic and power. And in the Middle Ages, people thought these stones held mystical energies, allowing them to see their true self. And often nobles would carry them as a status symbol, believing the stone would help them stay in power. It's also known to be used with witchcraft, believing that it would enhance the spells and power. Emotionally, it is commonly used for personal growth and stress reduction. It aids in emotional health and removes toxic forces from others. It also helps instill more empathy and patience. It's also to increase spiritual awareness and bring greater intuition and understanding. It's also sometimes called a shaman stone. They use it for explore, exploring past lives or connecting with divine beings. And the third slab is a cute little piece of sodalite, which was a gift from the seller, which I thought was really nice. The sodalite is it helps support you in communication, better communicating with yourself and others. It helps enhance intuition, it encourages truth, and it corresponds with the third eye chakra and can help boost your confidence. And it helps overcome negative thinking. And it increases mental clarity as well. And the last stone I have is this beautiful sparkly pyrite. We're bringing this in for the solar plexus because this session is all about being confident and raising your self-esteem, helping you to feel good about yourself. I don't know if you can hear this, but this thing is really heavy. For the size it is, I was really surprised how dense. And so some of the benefits of this pyrite, it's used to help increase strength, energy, willpower, and confidence. But it's also very popular abundant stone as well. So it encourages wealth, prosperity, and success. So we want all of these great benefits in our lives. Open up that solar plexus and receive. Helping remove any fears that might be blocking you from success, pursuing your goals and your dreams, or anything that might be blocking abundance as well. And also for the heart, a little cherry blossom added. So before we get into the Reiki, I just want to do a quick little tune-up with my Pythagorean tuning forks. So please make yourself as comfortable as possible. Allow yourself to receive these beautiful, uplifting, healing frequencies.
Reiki flows to you now through time and space, all dimensions, realities and timelines, past, present, and future. For our greatest health and benefit and the well-being of all. Reiki flow. Reiki flow. Reiki flow. Open up. Allow yourself to receive this beautiful healing energy, allowing it to fully support you, to give you exactly what you need right now, helping to strengthen your confidence and your belief in yourself, allowing you to come back to a time remembering when you once fully trusted yourself and your abilities, remembering how good that felt and allowing yourself to return to that truth. The only reason it has changed is because at some point in your life, someone convinced you otherwise. Someone that felt threatened someone that felt they needed to control or manipulate you for some reason. But it's time to let go of all of that pain, all of that suffering and disbelief. It's time to remember who you truly are and what you're capable of. Come back to that divine truth, that divine power within you, allowing yourself to be completely confident in who you are and what you're capable of. Open up and receive, healing that solar plexus, allowing it to expand even further, allowing that beautiful golden light to glow even brighter than it ever has. Feeling that energy inside, pushing out and expanding all around the body, attracting what you desire with ease, grace, and gratitude. You are powerful. It is time to remember this. It is time to step into your power. Open up and receive. Open up and receive. Activating. Reconnecting to your power. Receive this heart energy as well. Receive these energetic hearts of love and compassion. Of complete care. Complete love. Ushan Katayashnahate. Unkutu ishihinu. Ishahanai. And also pulling and removing anything that's floating up to the surface. Letting all of this go now. Feeling that power. Feeling it. Awakening. Awakening now to the deeper inner truth of who you are. Helping you to feel better and better. And just 
a little gentle or a fluffing to finish off. So much for joining me today, everyone. I hope you were able to enjoy the work and receive all the benefits. Thank you for your continued love and support. I truly and deeply appreciate you so very much. And until my next video, there's so much love for you here. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Satnam. <laughs>